This battle for the streets is becoming a battle for the future of Hong Kong. Protests which started in June have now escalated, with violence on both sides. The police are focusing on the Chinese university, which they say is the base of the hardcore demonstrators. Social media posts like this may prove their point in a row which has become about the autonomy of the former British colony. The police say the university has become a weapons factory, so they had to go in. Brighter's intention was to bring Hong Kong into a total breakdown. No excuse, no political motives can justify or glorify this madness. Some students have asked to be evacuated back to China, while the authorities have also suspended all schools. In an echo of the Extinction Rebellion tactic, some protesters have been trying to disrupt public transport. These commuters were led away, while at a station, another demonstrator blocked the doors. The tactic had a similar response from commuters in Hong Kong as it had in the UK. But one of the protest's leaders told me they remain hopeful of winning concessions. If we lose, I can think that the situation of Hong Kong will be less autonomous. That's why we actually uphold the end game mentality, because we know that if we lose, it will be very um, uh, unimaginable. The umbrella doesn't offer much protection, but it is now symbolic of the protests, which show no sign of ending. Simon Viger, 5 News.